Hello. I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, today is a good day. Praise God. Why is it today is a good day? Yes, because God has released His grace to, be, to bless you today. Question is, are you ready to be blessed? Are you ready to walk in the blessing? If you're already, join me right now as we call for our daily bread. Say, Father, I demand today my daily bread. And I receive it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, <clears throat> we've been talking about the man whom God, who God is going to bless. And, and I'll share with you yesterday from Psalms chapter 1 talking about the things that such a person will not be into or will not the places he will not be found in those things limit the blessing of god so he says blessed is the man that doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly he doesn't follow their advice he doesn't follow their plans he doesn't follow their purpose he doesn't stand in the way of sinners he doesn't submit himself to evil men doing wrong See that now. For example, you know we are in in our political space. We're in that in that um, season of politics, and a lot of things are, are, are going on. Some believers don't even know where to stand. Some believers don't know what to do. So every day they go on social media and they, they want to you know examine what people are saying to determine. So if they say, oh this person is a good person, oh that's the one we'll support tomorrow. Oh this person, hey. That's not the life of a believer. What is your reason for supporting a candidate? What is your reason for supporting anyone for any... Now, now, I'll tell you the truth. It is important that you are involved with what's going on in your nation. It is very important because number one, God instructs us as God's children that we should pray for them that we should pray for them. Now, if, if we are supposed to pray for them, which is better for you, now you have an opportunity to choose someone that you are going to spend days, you're going to spend years praying for. So don't you think it is better for you to choose someone you know whose heart will be yielded to the Spirit of God when God wants him to act. It's easier praying for such people, <laughs> praise God. You don't want to choose someone whose heart is going to be hardened against God. So now you start praying, Father, the heart of the king is in your hand. Oh God, turn it where? I said, this one will even turn if God is turning him. <laughs> praise God. Yeah, we have a choice right now. We have a choice. So who are you going to choose? Praise God. But hear me. As a child of God, you are supposed to connect your heart. Yeah? Look at what it says here. It says, thank you, Lord Jesus. We look at verse, verse 2, Psalm 1. It says, but his delight and desire is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, his precepts, his instruction, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, ponders, and studies by day and by night. Oh, 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 did you see that? Praise God. Hey, hey, hey you know, you, you can't get confused in life. Because God has given the prescription for everything. I'm telling you, he's given us the answer to everything. So why do people say, hey, here, here's what he says here. He says, hey, this guy who, who, who wants to be blessed by God, he doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. He doesn't stand in the way of sinners. He doesn't sit in the seat of the scornful. So what does he do? This is what he does. This is what he does, sorry. He says, but his delight and desire. What, what moves him is God's word. <laughs> so he's considering what does God think about this? 
It's like I was saying earlier. Okay, you want to choose a candidate? Question, what is God thinking about all these people? That's what you should be praying about. Father, what are you thinking about this man from party A? What are you thinking about this man from party B? What's your thoughts concerning these people? Lord, you know their heart. You know where they sleep. You know where they wake up. Can you reveal to me what your mind is concerning these people? Who should I cast my votes on? And if you're there thinking, mm, my vote even counts, you don't know nothing. You're part of the problem. Don't be saying, will my vote count? Pray about your vote. You have enough time. We've got now till February. If you start praying from today and tell me, do you think we have a wicked God who doesn't care? You start praying every day, even if it's just for 30 seconds. Father, I pray today that this is my PVC. I'm going to cast my vote and my vote will count. You think, you think, even if God is, is, think about it. You have enough time for the whole system to be arranged in such a way that truly our votes will count. And more than ever before, I've told you this before and I'm telling you again, God is taking charge of our nation. He is taking it from the hands of men. He is putting it in his own hands. Praise God. Do you know what that means? His sons and his daughters are the ones who are going to entrust the nation into their hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, so be excited. Get ready. Make up your mind you're going to vote. But who do you vote for? See that now? He says, this man, his delight is in God's word. And in God's word, he meditates day and night. I love how the Amplified puts it. He said, but his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. And on his law, his precepts, his instructions, the teachings of God. Hallelujah. So he's not just talking about reading a book. He's talking about, he meditates, he thinks. What does God think about this? What has God said concerning this? You can find out, in, find out, find out that in scriptures. Or sometimes the Spirit of God ministers his thoughts to your heart. Now when those things come to you, he ponders on them. He, he's, he's thinking, okay, so how does this apply in, in, in today's world? How does this apply in our situation? For example, you know Moses had given the instruction to the children of Israel concerning how they should select a king. And, and he actually told them certain qualities to look out for. Now, it's your time to vote for a president. How do you relate with this where the scripture is concerned? So you're thinking now, okay, what does God think? Are you going to just say, I belong to this party, so it is my party person that I'm going to vote? No, sir. No. You are, you are supposed to seek the mind of God, and it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to change your party. See that now? Oh, cause, cause, cause every party has its purpose. And that's one thing you, begin, you should begin to learn. What is the purpose of this party that I'm into? See that? Now, if it's a party of scorners, leave that place. If it's a party who's always, always criticizing what the other party is doing. All, now when I say always, always. So, so okay. Now, there is a difference between playing politics and then going against God's word. Now there's a difference between saying, hey, we can do this thing better. And this, this is how we can do it better. See that now? So you're showing, you're not just saying, eh, it's wrong. You know, that, that's how scorners behave. How that guy is driving a good car. <laughs> eh, didn't he steal it? He stole it! Leave those things. Those are scorners. How do you know he stole it? 
That's when you realize they know nothing about the person. There is no way somebody can be driving that car and he walked for the month. No way. So, sorry, do you know him? Um, not, not really. So how do you know he stole the money? I, I just know. Come on now. It's corners. And you sit there and you join them. I say, hmm. You know, you know how you join, you know how, how you know you've joined them. You leave that place and, and, and you're you're pondering on that stuff. And then you just tell yourself, ah, well, you know, I can't steal. So maybe I cannot have this car, this kind of car. See that now? You you really sat with scorners. And they are beginning to influence your thoughts now. And because they are influencing your thoughts, see what you're saying to yourself. Because I cannot steal. Because in your mind, you're the good guy. So because I cannot steal, means I cannot get that car. Huh? It is well. Those of us that cannot steal. This is our limitation. See that? Now, God intends to bless you. But here you are, because you have sat with the scorners, you are now putting a limitation on your life. So that's why I say if you're in a party that scorns, leave that place. That's the wrongest party to be in. Leave it. Find a good party who's making good plans to bring about good things. And where you can contribute because there is a wisdom that God has put inside of you that should be heard. Find a place where you will be heard. See that now? Now then. So, you, you are thinking, so who do I vote for? Okay, has God said anything concerning this? Has God instructed about how you choose leaders? Yes. He, he said, his delights and desire are in God's word. And on his law, his precept, his instruction, he meditates day and night. He says, his instruction, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, he ponders and studies. He ponders and studies. Wow. The, the, the foolish ones will bring all their thoughts. Hey, forget it. Ah, this is the man that will share money for us. Let's go and collect his money. He's the one that gives me money I will vote for. Foolish talk. You see, I was pondering on this this morning and I thought to myself, I think we need to look at our laws again, the Electoral Acts laws. And I think we need to look closely about how the delegates are selected. I think we need to put certain criteria in, 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 in that process. We need to really look at it and make certain laws. Maybe put it for a class of certain individuals. You know, and looking at people who... And, and, and it's easy because if, if, for example, if we make it standard that, oh, the delegates that are going to vote in every party to choose who they are, candidates are going to be maybe three per local government and that will be the standard and and then we must put in our laws criteria for those people they, because they are going to be the wise men from each of those local governments now so we it's important we look at our laws and and see how we can choose these people not just anybody the party should know we must put criteria. If they are maybe retired judges from those local governments, if they, you understand what I'm setting criteria. And then we must put it in our law. Anyone who who has got evidence concerning bribery to vote must go to jail or something. But then before you do that, you must put people who have a name and a reputation to protect.
I think that's important. This is my own suggestion, you know, to, to those making our laws. If you're listening to me, ponder on, the, on this and let's see how we can move this forward before the next election. Because we grow every day. Praise God. Now, how did I come about this thought? The same thing. Your, my delight is on God's word. And I'm thinking, how does God think about this thing? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our time is up today. Praise God. Listen, don't be afraid. Our nation is going to get better. I'm not saying this for saying sake. I'm saying it because I've got enough information from the Lord that He is taking us somewhere and that place is a good place. Praise God. So I pray for you today that your hearts be strengthened. Let your heart be strengthened in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.